losing your time, brother pal. You see the stains, they never wash off. You see what I mean? I'm not like you, Todd. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm nothing like you. Sure you are. You raped Marty, I raped Marty. Quit your whining, huh? No. Be a man. No, that's what you said the night you... The night we... No, I don't want to remember it. Care what you want. Who cares what you want? Busy, all right. If I leave streaks on those windows, they send me back to Statesville. I get a lethal injection. It's only fair, right? Todd, please. Give me a chance. What? What? Like, you gave me a chance, Alice. Well, Marty told me about the rape and about her friend, Suede. I couldn't help it. You did seem like a different person somehow. Well, don't sweat it. But then I talked to other people, and, and they told me about how you saved Marty's life when you could have run away. About how you rescued those two kids who were with her and that policeman. Well, nobody said I was a smart guy. Look where all of that got me. I am looking, Todd. The governor himself thought you deserved a second chance. What right do I have? What? What are you looking at? All right, Alice, here. Go ahead, take a good look, huh? Come on, I'm used to it. It's okay. I don't even notice the scar. <laughs> You're right. Sure you don't. It's that look in your eyes. That sadness. From the first time I met you, I haven't been able to get it out of my mind. I never asked you to feel sorry for me. And I don't. I know that sadness, Todd. I've seen it before. In someone I used to know. Someone a lot like you. You don't know anything about me. What scares you the most, Todd? That I don't or that I do? You don't scare me. You just interrupt me. Look, I, I don't want your sympathy or your pity or for you to understand anything about me, all right? I just want to get through my day and, and, and just do my job. And I'm not here to be sympathetic or anything else. I'm here because I want to be. Because I want to get to know you, Todd Manning. Hey, Todd, you better finish up. Therapy session's due to start in 15 minutes. Todd, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, right? I better get back to the station. Maybe we could get together later. I hear they grill a pretty mean steak at the Palace restaurant. You know, I'd like to, but... Uh, My treat. I... Come on, I promise I won't stand you up this time. Okay. But we're going Dutch, you know that. <laughs> okay, Dutch it is. It's very expensive champagne. Ah, champagne's never expensive. It's everything else. <laughs> well, that's an interesting philosophy you have. No philosophy. It's just, you know, take every day as it comes and try to fill it. Uh, to the brim, please. So how about it, Marty? How about trying things my way tonight? To the brim. Or... 
No, not at all. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. Look what I did. I... It's all right. Uh, <laughs> let's be honest with each other, though. You really don't want to be here with me tonight, do you? I dreamed of... It doesn't matter whether I'm awake or asleep. Todd is always there. He's in my thoughts. He's in my memory. I accuse you of never letting go, of always worrying about him. I'm worse. I hate him so much, I can't let go. It's like we're, we're twins ever since the night we raped Marty. No, don't say that. Don't even think that. It's not true. It is true. Whatever I was before, whatever I thought I was, that, that died that night. I became this, this person filled with these feelings. This, this anger, I don't, know, I don't know where it comes from. And that's why I can't forgive Todd. He did this to me! Look, pal, I know that... I know that he could have destroyed you, but he didn't. He didn't. You faced up to what you did. You've forgiven yourself. That's all that matters. I am scared. I haven't felt these feelings... this fear inside of me since, since the time of the rape. Paul, is there anything I can do for you? Please, just tell me. No, no, there's nothing you or anyone can do. I got myself into this maze. It's up to me to find my way out of it. Paul, Paul, where are you going? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going for a walk. I, I, gotta, I gotta... I gotta clear my head, all right? Please, just... Just remember one thing. I love you. Okay, Ray, she's just a cute little nurse thing, all right? It's really no big deal. Well, nurse, I'd ask you on on a date. That makes progress, man. It's not progress. It's not progress, Ray. She's just got a guilty conscience. What does she want to be guilty for? For smiling at me. And then Marty told her who I was. And she got scared. And now she feels guilty about being scared. You know, it's not exactly the start of a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? See, this is exactly why I like you, Todd. I mean, you always look on the bright side. And with this cheerful attitude, your dance car is going to be filled every yeah, single that's night. That's me, Mr. Popularity. When a chick can't give to her local animal rescue fund, she can always buy Todd Manning a T-bone. Well, why don't you give her a break, man? It was normal for her to be scared. You know, why, why can't you meet her halfway? She gave it up, didn't she? You know something, Ray? I think you're wasting your talents with all this, this rape counselor stuff. What you ought to do is start your own dating service. Ray Martino's meet a mate. So you just can't give it up, can you, Todd? I mean, your anger is so precious to you, you hold on to it like it's a pretty girl. I got news for you, man. The pretty girl is out there. She treats you a lot better than you treat yourself. It's a free country. That's right. And she's free to like you, and you're free to like being liked. But if you can't handle that, why don't you just go back to prison? I mean, what's the point of being free if you can't let yourself enjoy it? Oh, hey, I enjoy it. I love it. I clean windows. I, I roll puking people around in wheelchairs. And every once in a while, now I get charity from a nurse. Well, keep talking, and maybe you'll be able to convince yourself. See, but I know better. Deep down, you're glad she made the effort. Just cool it, OK, Ray? No, can I? Because I could see you finally care, Todd. I mean, you care so much, you can't even let yourself show it. Someone has reached out to you. I mean, face it, man. This is the first time in a long, long time that, that you have something to smile about. What's stopping you? Oh. The last thing that I want is to make you nervous. It's 